All right, so let's see how we get on, shall we? It, it feels weird being back at, like, Ultra League, but, like, I was hovering around Ultra League for so long um, while I was building up to <clears throat> Master League. It was really frustrating, actually, because I felt like I was doing okay, and then I just kept getting, like, beaten down, <laughs> back down a couple of ranks. They'd be like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> Uh, speaking of things that suck, this isn't the kind of open I would want. <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, the thing is with this deck, I I've got time to build things, so it's fine. Trust me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dentist. A dentist ex experienced in the removal of bad teeth in the form of Pokemon decks. Well, I guess Charizard straight away. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, DBV Zard. Them starting like this, though, is quite good for us. We don't have a whole lot going on, though. Like, if we had any way to get energy right now, we'd be feeling pretty good. Um, but we don't. Like, we, we're going to miss turn one knockout, which is very frustrating. Um, they put anything down, they did not. We've got time, so it's not too bad, but. I'm not entirely happy about this board state, I'm going to be honest. Uh, we're going to survive. I want to give them the poke stop though. Like, giving them a poke stop feels like the worst possible thing. So let's get rid of this and go double energy. We've got five, six dark energy available. Okay, cool. We shouldn't... In fact, we won't see a turn one knockout, which is nice. But we're also not seeing a whole lot. This, this just feel quite... Not great. <laughs> uh, cool. Let's end on that. This, uh, this sucks. Every time I swear, every time, every time you're one game away from going up a rank, you suddenly break. It's probably just perspective, but that's what it feels like. It really does. Like genuinely, pain in the ass. Also, um, I haven't streamed all week, as you all may notice. Uh, I plan to do Amy's tournament on Monday. Uh, then she ended up cancelling that because the game broke. Like TCG Live just was not working. Um. So that sucked, and then Wednesday I was planning on doing TFM's tournament, uh, then he had to cancel his tournament, and I was like, uh, okay. So, yeah, not the, uh, not the best of weeks, really. It's just been, like, one, one step back after another, but, uh, hey, we're here now. We're here to have a good time, hopefully. Um, yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling all right. I'm, I'm feeling a bit, I, I sound ill. <laughs> I'm kind of just realizing right now, I'm sounding ill. <laughs> I swear I'm not, I swear I'm okay, but I don't sound the best, do I? <laughs> I don't think I've had any, like, prolonged conversation for ages. Oh, thank F. <laughs> that could have sucked. We could do, like, just finding one more energy so we can retreat the Roaring Moon in the active. It's unlikely we'll find another Dark Energy. That will do. I, I really want to use Radiant Greninja, but I don't think that's the play. I think we just take our knockout where we can here. We got uh, Professor Sardar for next turn, 110 damage. Okay, this isn't a great start, by the way. Like, I wish we had way more resources, but we do not. So, it is what it is. I seem normal. I, I don't know what it is. I, I sound to myself quite nasally. But maybe I'm just imagining that. I, I feel like I, I feel like a little bit of a cold coming, which isn't the best. What the kids say? It is what it is. So, our dailies would take three prize cards, not concede, right? <laughs> we should be able to manage that. Tea with garlic. I don't like tea. I also do not want to have tea with garlic. That sounds terrible. That sounds like an awful com combination. Ew. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's okay. I'll do what I always do. I'll just, like, suffer through it and complain a lot. I am a professional in the uh, complaining arena. So, we can get because they put Beryl down, we can get to a KO without worrying about Charizard. It's not advisable, but we can do it. Um, it's whether we can get to the Rotom before a Turo or a Collapse Stadium happens. So, we're taking one prize. Uh, Bidoof is another, two, another one. Rotom's two, and then Pidgeot's uh, six. Now that's very much wishful thinking. We got, we're not guaranteed it, but we'll certainly try. The only issue we've got right now is we've got one Dark Energy left in the deck. 
Now, we can go find a Verven Vessel, fortunately for us. Like, I... <sighs> Come on. But I also didn't want to use Sada, is what I was about to say, because of Charizard, but... Oh, well. Never mind. <laughs> Got the exact hand back. All right, fair enough. Helps with flu, which I... Ah, dude, don't worry about it. I'm fine. Thank you, though. I appreciate you uh, looking out for me. That's actually fine. Yeah, two ducks. We can build up two more Roaring Moons here. Like, I don't like the fact that Radiant Greninja is going down, but that's actually fine. Like, if we can get to an, a boss's orders, we will be in a very good position. We're probably just going to have to go to the Roaring Moon, but it is what it is, as the kids say. Yeah, one Dark Energy left, okay. We can't get to the um, KO. But we'll do what we can. We shouldn't just be burning urban vessels here either. 160, so we're not quite halfway, but we, we will be halfway next time Roaring Moon goes down, which is fine. So we'll go with that. I hit Revenge Fletching. <laughs> this isn't the best, I'm going to be honest. Like, this doesn't feel great to be playing right now, but... It's fine. We'll I guarantee we see a... Um, Turo coming down now. Turo into the other Charmander. Uh, into the other, yeah, Toro then evolved into the other Charizard because I don't think they'll let me knock out this Charizard. There goes the Rotom. Ugh, gross. There's still three prizes on the board right now, or three easy prize cards. It's whether they can do. I, 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 I assume we see this Charizard get retreated, which is whatever. Like, I imagine the calculation right now is, do we use Iano? <laughs> I would assume Turo's probably the play. Get Charizard off the board and the damage. Vault the other Char uh, Charmander to Charizard. Power that up. Take the knockout. They're evolving that to a melon, then that isn't the play. So we can... Take a knockout here, then. Interesting. I mean, that gets us three prize cards, too. And I imagine what they're building towards is Roxanne. And honestly, go for it, champ. Um, ball away at these two. Good King Muggle Mug, good King Mug. Okay, Awakening Drum. Not really the best of cards, but that's fine. Keep the Sada. I don't think we'll see a use for the counter catcher. I think they're actually going to stay behind us. Which is fine, it's whatever. Um, we used two Sada already. The Penny could come, do a coming back. I just know at some point we're going to get aried, and that's going to suck. But I can guarantee what comes up next is Roxanne. But our dailies are done, so who cares? <laughs> One thing I like is how we're able to predict moves before they come. <laughs> Hi, Beast Valley. Welcome along. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't predict it well there, but... I'd have thought if they had the cards in hand, that's what they would have gone for. Because you go... You take off the damage. You evolve up the Charizard. With Rek There's the Roxanne. And you evolve up the Rek Rek Um, And yeah, I go with that, but... Yeah, it is what it is. Do you run mostly Ancient? Yeah, I've been playing Dynabox for like the last two or three weeks, pretty much mainly. Um, during these streams, I play everything. Like, I don't stick to one deck particularly. Uh, it's just not how we do things. Uh, but generally, yes. Did they again reset the league at TCG? Reset the league? What do you mean? I'm surprised we haven't seen the Bibberall yet. Oh, yeah, they reset it every so often, don't they? The only thing is, like, we've got... Not knockout, but, like, two-piece knockouts on Charizard already. But we're immediately going to run out of momentum. Now, if we'd have seen a Super Rod to get back the Radiant Greninja, we're going to Nest Ball for it and like, at least maybe done something. But I think all of our energy is, like, in there now. Yeah. 
This is probably going to be it. Like, I don't think there's a whole lot we can do here. Yeah, there's literally nothing we can do. The most we'll do here is prolong the game. I don't see much point in doing that, to be honest. If anything, I'd rather they just, they just take the knockouts, because then at least we can just <laughs> get, the, get it done. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's monthly, isn't it? They do it, pretty much. I got a future deck versus Goldango deck. Uh, I'd put good money on the Goldango. If, if both decks have a good start, I'd put more money on the Goldango. What are you Ultra, Ultra Ball for in Beveril, I guess? I'm gonna get swapped. <laughs> yeah, gold thing is still, uh, it's a rogue pick at the moment, but it's still decent. My partner runs it, and uh, she absolutely loves the deck. We went 3, three and 0 at a league challenge yesterday, and only lost at the end. I, I, I didn't really see the game, but she lost to a Charizard, which isn't a bad matchup for the deck. But yeah, she, uh, she wasn't happy. <laughs> Man, they're really doing, like, everything they can, despite the fact that I'm not doing anything. And his name is John C. <laughs> they're doing a lot of extra work for no reason. Uh, Beast Valley, thank you very much for the follow. Very much appreciate it. Please raise your do do in <laughs> chat. <laughs> Yay, we got Sada, boys. <laughs> All our energy's in there. <laughs> I don't think we can do anything. Yeah, no, cool. Well, good. Take the knockout, don't be a dick. Come on, just take the knockout. Thank you. Ugh, gross. I'm gonna say this much, I'm very glad that Dragapults are absolutely going insane in Japan, because this I'm so sick of every deck losing the Charizard. I'm so sick of it. It's just not interesting 